guys, we just got out of Rogue One. That movie was so freaking good. Oh my gosh. It's now Luis's what? Second favorite movie? It's now my second favorite Star Wars movie after Empire. Empire Strikes Back. Yes. My favorite is Return of the Jedi, but then comes The Force Awakens and then this one, I think. So this is my third favorite. So good. <laughs> it was really good though. Our friends went to go see it last night and he's, uh, one of our friends is already planning to go see it again. Well, we have to see it again so we can take Logan and Gary. Yeah, we have an excuse because we can take the kids. <laughs> it was really good. So, yeah, I'm no spoilers. Just wanted to tell you guys that that was really awesome. Yes. Yeah, if you're on the very, bench very on good. whether or not you should see it, definite, definite see. Must see. Yeah. Very, very good. So, anyway, now we're going to head to a new place to try for lunch. We're going to have our... Oh, it's so windy. I don't know. It is kind of chilly and windy out right now. We're gonna go try a new place that it, I heard about on Devious Demi's YouTube channel. She lives here in Vegas too. She's also a vegan YouTuber if you guys don't know her and she recommended this place called Table Thai, I think that's what it's called. And it's a Thai food when they have a whole vegan menu and I've seen on her video it looks kind of like they have stuff kind of like Veggie House maybe. Like I think she got some orange chicken or something like that there and just everything that she tried there looked really good so um since i saw they have a whole like lunch vegan menu or whatever we're gonna go check it out and this is kind of like our anniversary luncheon movie date because our 11 year wedding anniversary is on the 19th so happy anniversary babe it's been a long time 11 years so a decade <laughs> a decade plus a one. decade plus one we're on to our second decade so yeah, I'll show you. Do you think the second decade will go as fast as the first one? I hope not. It went by really fast. Let's our, see. And our kids are growing up way too fast. That's nine years, right? So Logan will be out of high school. He'll be 19. Oh, yeah, 20. will be 16. Uh, no, Gary will be, yeah, 16. So before we hit our 20-year anniversary, Gary and Logan will be able to drive us all around town and be our little chauffeurs. Not only that, but they can all, well, at least Logan. They're not going to leave. <laughs> Anyway, oh, there's a police car over here next to us. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'll show you the food when we get there and I'll show you what's on the menu. And then we'll let you know how good it was or how not good it was. Pretty sure it's gonna be good since other people are recommending it. Oh look, a relic from the election. Uh, I don't wanna talk about that. Bye. <laughs> said this was a vegan gingerbread chocolate cookie, chocolate chip cookie, so let's see if it's any good. Never been to Sunrise Coffee before. They literally closed in like two hours, so like most of the baked goods were gone. It smells good. Looks like someone already took a bite out of it. <laughs> well, it smells good. Let's give it a taste test. It's an oatmeal cookie. Pretty good. I wouldn't say it's the best thing ever, but pretty good. Probably save half of it for the kids. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, I save half for the kids. I like that. Uh, I guess I'm saving the other half for Louise. Is this not a date? What kind of coffee are you drinking? Just regular iced coffee. Iced coffee with almond milk? Mm -hmm. Is I'm it sweet. good? Yeah. Starbucks? <laughs> uh, no comparison, 
I take it? Well, Starbucks, Jen, it has heart, soul. This is just, I mean, it's fine, but it's not Starbucks. Obsessive. So anyway, um, the food at that place was pretty damn good. I didn't really like the peanut sauce one, the Faram Long Song noodle. I didn't like that one that much. But the fried rice was really good. And the papaya egg roll, not egg roll, but sushi roll type thing with the, um, what was in it? It was like papaya, carrot, peas. rice wrapper, pea. It didn't, it, it didn't have peas in it. Pea shoots, maybe. Okay. He shoots but um that was really good it came with the papaya dipping sauce um yeah everything except I don't really like the rice one that much but it was really good the only bad thing was our waitress was kind of a bitch yeah so we sit down and <laughs> there are, she brings two glasses of water and then after that she asks with you, an attitude yeah are you how does she say it will you be having anything other than water no, that's not anything to say. drink. Will you be having anything to drink other than water? Yeah. But she said it with such a bitchy attitude, and she wouldn't even like look at us. She was like this the whole time, like. Yeah. So I was like, bitch. Gave her a five dollar tip. We, don't say that. Sorry, that's all she got. Five dollar tip. Luis, minimum. Not supposed minimum to, starts at you're five. You're not supposed to talk like that. Yes. You Minimum don't talk about money. tip starts at five. You're not supposed to talk about and money. And the more times you what come you... back, and the nicer you are, the no. more the more no. it goes up. Oh my god. What are you talking not, about? I am not comfortable with this segment. I am not comfortable. What is with wrong this. with you? I am not comfortable with this segment. I want you to cut this. We're out. teaching dining out etiquette. If you, Babe, if you, we are the last people. Yes, no, no, to, no. To be teaching no, you work, any kind of you etiquette. You work in a tipping environment, so you know how it is. You have Babe, to earn your tip. I look. Some people, most people who got treated the way we did, would not have tipped her even the five dollars, right, guys? I mean, we're not those people that go out and and decide that I'm gonna eat a whole meal and not tip. Like we always tip, and usually when we eat, like. A nice restaurant like like that or something we usually tip at least twenty dollars so she didn't earn it I'm sorry she didn't come back to check on us and she had an attitude the whole time so no she's not gonna get a good tip I am uncomfortable. and he's acting like he's uncomfortable but he's the one that decided to give her the five dollar tip babe I looked at you for the go-ahead I, I looked at I you I didn't say anything there was like there was like recon and I, I said I looked at the receipt I looked at you for the go-ahead you know, I can't make decisions and on I my own. said, are you going to be not, I'm not comfortable leaving to make here decisions on my own. and coming back to eat here again, only giving a $5 tip? And you said, we'll order takeout the next time. I, you know, <laughs> record, yeah. well, that was off the now record, Now it's on the record. Now it's on the record. That's what you get for trying to throw me under the bus for talking about this. Now you're getting dropped Who's under the, the bus. Who's throwing under the bus? You. I, you started I said, it. No, I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, first of all. Yeah, I got to go. My arm hurts. We don't.